So now we are going to perform quality control of the metagenome assembly. So I have my quantics. So the quantics can be found in the megahertz results. So that is ls megahertz underscore results. And I'm going to get my file here. So the quality control is going to be performed on this file. So this is how we will do it. We will say meta quest and then we will specify the output file. So I'll say dash O. I'll say quest or let me just say meta quest. Meta quest underscore results and I'll say dash dash threads. I'll say it's the number of threads and then I'll specify the context okay the file so I'll say megahertz underscore results slash final dot context dot fe so let's execute this command and if you execute this command and then uh, you get an error message then you may have to change this to dot pi so depending on how you install the metaquas to you need to either use metaquas dot pi or metaquas if you installed using Conda, then you have to use MetaQuest. If you installed by downloading the binaries or the scripts from GitHub, then you have to indicate MetaQuest.py. Okay, I'm going to make another tutorial that shows you how to install MetaQuest. So, um, in case maybe you are watching this tutorial, you can check the description box. If that video is ready, you find a link there. So that's it. So let's execute this command. Mine. It's MetaQuest, so I'll leave the dot .py out. So let's execute this command. Perfect. Okay, MetaQuest has completed this work. So we are going to explore the output files. But before we do that, let's take a look at what has been displayed here. I'll focus on the warnings and non fatal errors. So um, let's start with the non fatal errors. So the non fatal errors, we have zero. That means that there was no major issue. So everything was okay. But there were warnings, two of them. Okay, so if there are warnings, then MetaQuest thinks these uh, issues or these occurrences um, should be brought to your notice. That is why you have this. So, what you can do is to just take a look at the log file and then basically you are going to uh, see whatever has been displayed here. So, if you look at all the messages here, then you'll be able to track where those issues were. So, the log file will always be in the directory that you specify. So, mine can be found here. You know, I specified the directory. So the log file will also be created in that directory. And that's what has been given here. So for me, when I ran MetaQuest, I realized some of the sequences, um, MetaQuest could not find them in the NCBI database. So uh, the next best matches were used. So let me just show you one of them. Yeah, like one of them is here. This one here, this message here. So probably those are, Probably this is one of the things that MetaQuest thought it has to bring to my attention. Okay, but for this tutorial, I'm going to ignore the warning because the focus of this tutorial is to show you how to assemble metagenomic data, how to evaluate and visualize. But for technical stuff, for technical details, those ones, it's something that I'll probably cover in another tutorial. But if you have any challenges, you have other questions, you can always reach out to me and then we can discuss further. Okay. If you're also going to try this on your own data, then it's important that you take a look at the warnings. Just take a look at what um, was given and then you can decide if it's worth um, following up or not. So that's about it. So let's continue. Let's take a look at the output first. Clear the screen. Let's do an LS. And we are going to find this directory there, MetaQuest underscore results. So let's ls into it and we are going to find our output files. We are going to view this report and then this report. So we will do that um, using our browser because these are HTML files. So let's use our file manager to explore these files and then open them. Okay, so we have our MetaQuest report. It can be found yeah, in the MetaQuest underscore result directory. So open this directory and we are going to find subdirectories as well as some files here. So we have two HTML files, report.html 
and then ekaros.html we are going to open both files using our browser so let's start with the report.html so let's open it so when you open it you are going to find something like this being displayed for you i also encourage you to read a short note here especially for a beginner so with the report we have the assembly statistics here we have genome statistics weight mapping misassemblies mismatches statistics without reference and we also have the values here here the header is final or quantities so it uses the file name it's also possible to specify more than one file when using metaquas so if we have specified for example two files then we will have two columns one for each file so we have this and then this because we specify just one file that's why we have this column here just one column now with this report it's a short report so if you want additional details or additional information you can click on the standard report so this one here so click it and we are going to find that more information has been displayed so you can do that to get more information now let's use a short report so click it again and then the information will be hidden there's also this site for plots so you can click on each of these to get a plot and then you can use that to better understand your data because metaquas use some reference genome for the analysis it's possible to also get the composition of these genomes so if you check here we have corona charts and we also have this one here final or quantity so click it and then you have this chart displayed for you so this is a corona chart so it shows you the composition of each of the sequences that's what we have well, let me just say composition of each of the reference genomes so these reference genomes obviously they are species and so you can get their respective names here so that will let you know the composition of this data so which species um what's the percentage of composition for each of these species or each of these organisms i'm just using this words interchangeably here so this what we have i have a tutorial that also explains this uh, corner charts and so if you have time just to the description but you'll find a link to that view so just watch this to get some explanation and interpretation of this corner charts now let's get back to our report so you proceed so when you open it you are going to find something like this being displayed for you 